我杀，我杀，妈呀，这 echo echo。Yeah, man. I need to take these off, man. I, I can't hardly say anything, man. I'm like Ray Charles, y'all. I can't see none of y'all. Hey, man. I'm Charles Baxter, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a couple jokes. Well, bits, because bits are longer than jokes. Don't worry, they're equally as funny, but you know they're bits. Man, you ever have one of those friends that just smoke weed all the time? I mean, all the time. Wake up and smoke. Smoke when they eat. Smoke in the afternoon. Smoke before they go to sleep. Yeah, I had a friend like that, man. He's a cool guy to hang out with, but, you know. I mean, he smokes all the time. He, he, he was losing brain cells left and right. It's kind of, kind of dumb. But, I mean, you know. He's cool to hang out with. I kind of ask him no intelligent questions, you know, or get him to help me with my homework. I'd be like, what's two plus two? He'd be like, man, that's joint. <laughs> I'm like, no, dude. <laughs> that's not it. I mean, he's good with simple math, you know, like the metric system. He can weigh out grams and say how many grams are in an ounce and what's the going rate for a quarter. He's like, yeah, there's 28 grams in an ounce. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, dude. Mm. But he used to smoke weed all the time. That's why, man, he used to wake up and have lunch rolled, pre-rolled for him. He'd just wake up. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Eat, I mean, he'd eat and smoke at the same time. Be eating cereal and stuff. And in between bites, he'd get hit in the joint. I'm like, dude, why, why are you, why are you eating and smoking at the same time? He's like, man, when I eat, man, I lose my buzz. Like, okay, you do what you do. He used to, eat. he used to smoke in the shower. He'd be like in there washing his hair and stuff. Open up the shower curtain. Had a gravity bomb in his toilet. <laughs> Go back to washing his hair. Fog out in the entire bathroom. He used to fog out the entire house. I swear to God, man. And you know what he did after that? He lit incense. But not any normal incense. Weed smelling incense. Mm hmm. He'd cover up the weed smell with weed smell. <laughs> kind of dumb. <laughs> he was cool to hang out with, though. Remember one day we were like beating on the door. I mean, one day we were sitting there on the couch and People used to come over and open up the door and Bog would just hit them like right away and they'd just pass out. It'd be like, and come at them like a fog. Pass out right away in a coma. Super stoned. More stoned than they've ever been in their life. Yeah, it was like that. It's crazy. You just walk in and you get super stoned. You don't even have to smoke. You just, oh, contact. Oh, hey man, you got something to eat, man? And we used to have this one, uh, or we were sitting there on the couch one time watching Animal Planet or whatever stoners watch. <laughs> hey man, look, it's a tiger. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> we were sitting there watching Animal Planet or whatnot, and we hear a doo doo doo. Hey, yo, doo. Like, dude, there's someone beating on your door, man. He sounds mad. A few seconds roll by, we hear. Hey, yo, dude, you need to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to fuck you up, you understand, son? I'm going to fuck you up. And we're like, looking at each other and stuff. I'm like, dude, you need to answer your door. This dude sounds really mad. He's like, nah, man. We stay perfectly still. You don't realize we're in here. <laughs> I'm like, like mannequins? Yeah, there's cars in the driveway and the lights are on and you can clearly hear the TV because you're deaf. Okay, sure, we'll, we'll do that. So we sit there quietly for a couple minutes. Next thing we hear, 
Hey, yo, dude, you need to get that fuck out of here. I'm gonna fuck you up. Obviously, this dude was mad about something. I guess he was looking at his girlfriend or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. Dude was super mad. Kept on beating on the door. Doo -doo -doo. Kept on yelling. Ay, ay, ay. Then finally, he starts kicking. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, yo, dude, you need to get the fuck out of here. Uh. So he gets up off the couch. Mm. Opens up the door. <laughs> well, he had everything locked up. He was like... Had like a wedge underneath the door. Then he opened it up. Yeah, he was paranoid. And the fog hit the dude. Right away, this dude was like stoned out of his mind. Hey, yo, dude, I'm gonna fuck you up, man. I'm gonna. What? Huh? Dude, man, I can't believe. Oh, man. You got something to eat? Yeah, so we made a new friend that day. Everything worked out. <laughs> uh, I remember we used to go outside and throw the football. He wasn't too athletic. I used to hate doing this with him, but we'd go outside and throw the football because you got to get out of the house. And we'd be in the front yard throwing the football. He'd try to catch it. Uh, ball this way, the football was going that way. <laughs> He'd get the football back, hit the joint right before he throws it. Yeah. Half the time it made it to me. The other half the time it went behind him. Yeah, he wasn't too athletic. So, I had to go inside. I went inside and watched Animal Planet for a couple minutes. Whatever was on. About five minutes or so. He comes running back in. Hey, man. I just found a frog, man. So? Yeah, I'm going to keep him as a pet. So, keep him as a pet, then, man. Say, like, what I do, man? Yeah, he's kind of dumb, I told you. I was like, I put him in a box, poke some holes in it so he can breathe. He's like, all right, man, yeah, I'll do that. So I gave him a box. Here you go. And uh, he goes back outside. About five or ten minutes later, I hear him run back in. He's all super excited, jumping up and down. Hey, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, I got it, yeah, check it, dude. I'll call him Kermit, yeah. And then, um, I, I get up off the couch, I look, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck did you do? He's like, man, I did what you said. I put him in a box and I bumped some holes in it. I'm like, huh. Yeah, man, you, you're supposed to poke holes in the box, not the frog. <laughs> yeah, he was a little dumb. I told you, he's a little slow. I lost too many brain cells. All right, a short story. I made long story turn short here. <laughs> At least we had a box to bury him in, so everything worked out good in there.